Welcome back to the National Hurricane Center. This is Ken Graham. We're right here in our operations area. We got John on duty, Mike, Jamie, got the got the whole crew. Aiden back here. Um, everyone's keeping on the latest information on Tropical Storm Henri. And let's look at it right now. Let's start off with the satellite here. Well, I, we talk about the, the healthy system. I mean, you think about we're right there, uh, the center of the storm, just under some of this convection. And, and the blue areas here, we start seeing these wind barbs. That's the aircraft actually coming up with uh, where the center is the winds and really giving us a, a good clue on what this structure is looking like. Another thing that I really notice on this satellite is you see some of this, this high level cirrus clouds out from out from the center and th the best way to describe that is it's, it's breathing. It's getting healthier. It's getting stronger. Getting stronger um, as we speak as it starts to pull off to the north. So we're going to look at that latest forecast. This is the latest update. Um, John back here on duty looking at the latest information and uh, really just studying the information that he gets from the, the satellite and the, and the aircraft and trying to put together uh, what we have here in the way of forecast. So let's let's look at the timing. The wind's now 70 miles an hour. Notice, slowly but creeping up with time, and that's what we've been forecasting, moving north-northwest at six miles an hour. A few things to look at here. So we're at this location. We do forecast the system to become a hurricane with time as it moves towards the north, towards New England. And remember, it's not just that center track. We've got to really uh, not focus just on that center track. It truly is about the impacts. You can see right here those tropical storm force winds extending well out from the center. And if you take that forward, you can see how it's a wide swath of those winds well outside uh, the actual cone itself. So a hurricane. This is Saturday morning. This location, Saturday evening. And then Sunday morning, getting very close to the coastline here, Connecticut, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, Long Island, any one of these areas. Remember, inside the cone, we expect that center could be anywhere in there two-thirds of the time. So if you're in any one of these areas, you should expect uh, those conditions with, with the winds, and you expect the conditions with the rainfall and also the storm surge. Here's something else to look at. You look at these lines. The closer they are together, the slower the movement. Look what happens towards the end. So we speed up with time. Right now, we talked about six miles an hour. It's going to speed up, and then with time, it's going to bend back towards the east. And remember, we, we see this in every system. As they make that turn, they slow down. So as a result, we get into Connecticut, Massachusetts. It slows down significantly. That's a problem. That means there's more rainfall, more time to saturate the soil, and it's also more time to push the storm surge into some of the, every nook and cranny in some of these areas. We'll look at that here in a second. But the other part of this is saturated soil, more time with the winds, you're going to knock down some trees. You're going to block some roads. You're going to knock down some power lines. There's going to be significant power outages in so many of these areas. Uh, so watch out for that. Plan for that and have a, have a plan to, to stay safe. So that's what we're really looking at when it comes to the actual track, some of the impacts themselves. We talk about that rain. We talk about the storm surge. Significant amounts of rain. Okay, so if you look at the yellow area here, we're talking uh, just south of Boston, we're into Massachusetts here, but let's look at this green area. Two to four could be some places with six or more that encompasses Boston, uh, parts of, uh, of Vermont, New Hampshire, uh, back towards uh, Connecticut, even Long Island here. Significant amount of rainfall, so important. Remember we talked about not focusing on that track? Some of this core rain, depending on the track, could move in any direction depending on where that track does shift. So as that slows down, as Henri slows down, it's going to dump a copious amount of rain on a lot of these areas. So be ready for that. Flooded roadways, blocked with trees. Travel is going to be very treacherous. Remember the timeline. You're going to start getting those winds in Sunday morning. So Sunday, even into Monday, even if the storm passes, it still leaves all the debris. It still leaves the trees and the power outages. So plan for that. Have, have a safety plan. Listen to the local officials. It's so important in these systems to, to listen to those local officials uh, for instructions. And remember, so important as well, we talk about, you know, Dennis, We've, we've talked about this, we've seen this in the past, about usage of generators, and you're going to have some power outages, and uh, people may be going out to look at generators, they may have generators, please use them safely. Have them outside, nowhere near a window, not in the garage, have them well away from the house. Carbon monoxide poisoning is, is, is such a significant danger, and we've lost a lot of people after these storms. So just because a storm passes doesn't mean you're quite safe yet. Let's check out the actual storm surge um, itself. Significant amount of storm surge, New Jersey, one to three feet in some of these areas, especially, um, you know, you start looking at areas with high tide, it's above ground. So this is 
It's water up your pant leg. And this is the peak storm surge forecast, and accounting for tide, accounting for um, everything. We throw all those values in here um, to get the, these numbers. Not every place is going to get those numbers. It's your traditional spots, the, the low-lying areas right along your beaches, um, not just on those, those shores that face the south, but Long Island Sound. The water gets pushed into the sound. Even, even after time, the water gets pushed by the wind even out of the north. So the south part, the south shore of Long Island Sound, you're going to get water too. So watch out for that. Two to four feet in some of those areas. And look how high you get over here. This is on that right hand side of the track. Narragansett Bay, three to five feet. Buzzards Bay, Nantucket Sound, up to Cape Cod. Any one of these areas could get three to five feet of storm surge right along the, the coast and some of that could be pushed into your bays and your outlets and your inlets uh, just watch out for that listen to those local officials if they tell you you need to be out of some of these areas please listen to them so that's the latest information we have on tropical storm Henri got to be safe we're going into the weekend if you're if you're in New York if you're in other areas or in Boston thinking about going to some places for the weekend and you're making your plans for that trip please put weather planning into that plan because this is a dangerous situation. The storm surge, down trees, power outages, treacherous travel. Please remember that as you go into this weekend and we're going to keep you updated and keep you safe as we are getting updates, further updates on Tropical Storm Henri. This has been Ken Graham right here at the National Hurricane Center.